What's up, guys? Neil Orford here to take a look at the Stochastic MLB DFS lineup generator for tonight's slate. It is June 30th. While you're coming, if you are on Twitter, give my tweet a like. If you're on YouTube, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. I'm going to be taking a look at lineups here for both DraftKings and FanDuel. And by the way, if you have not yet signed up for Lineup Generator, you really should. And you can get it for 50% off your first week using the link in my tweet or in the description of this video. You're going to get it for just $4.48 for your first week. It's still going to be just $8.95 after that. A fantastic deal for a tool that only gives you long-term profitable lineups. They've been run through the Stochastic Sims. Every lineup you're going to get here is going to be profitable in the long run according to those sims all right i'm going to start by taking a look at some DraftKings lineups and my approach i'm going to go all stack types i'm going to go all lineup types so i'm going to get a mix here of chalky balance and contrarian lineups using all lineup types I'm going to not lock anybody in we just saw somebody yesterday get i believe third in a very very large field contest so that was cool to see we've had a lot of success with this tool recently so hopefully we can keep it going tonight all right this lineup we have a five three Dodgers Tigers stack with Freddie Peralta and Luis Medina as the pitchers starting looking at the pitchers in the top pitchers so we have Peralta and Medina Freddie Peralta third overall in top two pitcher odds with a 14 percent chance of being a top two pitcher and then Medina pretty far down pretty like middling in terms of top two pitcher odds seven percent chance of being a top two pitcher at eight percent ownership but then a 19 percent chance of being a top two value pitcher as well allows you to pay up for some bats so kind of a nice balance there that's a nice thing about this tool you know that every lineup you get here is going to be balanced in a way that should be long-term profitable all right so we have the dodgers and the tigers as our two stacks you're looking at the top stacks tool Dodgers, top of the board in terms of top stack odds, 11% chance of being the top stack at 9% ownership. So we got some nice positive leverage there. And then the Tigers, number two on the board, 10% chance of being the top stack at 10% ownership, 11% chance of being the top value stack, or 11% ownership and 11%. So uh, looks good. Overall, looks like a good lineup. We've got uh, some nice balance here with Miguel Rojas bringing down the ownership at just 2%. James Outman, 5% ownership. So a couple of low-owned bats mixed in with some kind of mid-level, not really chalky bats, but you know, somewhat somewhat higher-owned bats mixed in there with uh, a couple that are lower-owned. Medina at just 8% bringing down the ownership. Peralta at just 22%. So overall, uh, it's on the chalky end of the spectrum, but not like crazy chalky. We do have uh, some nice balance here. So I'm going to save this lineup. Let's see what we get. The next one we have a 4-4 Milwaukee Detroit stack again Detroit is in Coors Field if I did not already mention that uh kind of an important factor for playing the Tigers you probably don't want to play them outside of Coors all that often but in Coors Field they look pretty good they're also still cheap we get Zach Zach Short at 2900 in Coors Field Jonathan Scope at 2800 in Coors Field really cheap uh, you don't see bats this cheap in Coors Field very often but we got the Brewers and the Tigers here a uh, little bit less chalky on this one. You can see the the meter over here is to the right a little bit more. Then we got Pablo Lopez and Shane McClanahan. So starting by looking at the pitchers, Lopez and McClanahan, top of the board, the top two pitchers in terms of uh, top two pitcher odds. McClanahan, 21% chance. Lopez at 15% chance of being a top two pitcher here. And then we have the Tigers, number two on the board in terms of top stack odds. And then we had uh, Milwaukee. Where's Milwaukee here? Down at eighth overall in terms of uh, top stack odds. 5% chance of being the top stack. So nice little, uh, they're, they're in Pittsburgh against Osvaldo Bito. Uh, a little bit of negative leverage on Milwaukee, but the nice thing about this tool is, you know, every lineup is balanced for you. So even though there's negative leverage on the stack overall, clearly have some lower owned uh, bits of the stack. Rowdy Telez at 6% ownership. Uh, we've got Adames at 6% ownership. And then we do have a little bit more chalk on Christian Yelich, but then Jesse Winker at just 5%. So some low owned bats in the Milwaukee batting order. Uh, Looks good. Looks like a good, nice balanced stack here. Just 112% total ownership. All right, I'm going to go through and save 20 lineups. See what my exposures look like. All right, so the highest exposed player here is Matt Veerlein at 65%. Eric Haas, 50%. Jake Rogers, 45%. Jonathan Scope, 45%. So a lot of Tigers at the top here. I think that if I got this much Tigers, because they're not the best team in the world, even though they're in cores, I would prefer to get away from some of these Tigers. I'd probably heard of some of my Matt Veerling lineups until I have less than 50%, I would say, of Matt Veerling. I, I probably want to keep all of my Tigers bats under 50%. So this is one, you know, I'm still okay being fairly concentrated on certain offenses. I'm, I'm just doing 20 lineups here. Uh, but I still think that I want a little bit less of the Tigers. They're going to be, they're, they're 
fairly neutral in terms of ownership. Um, I don't think that I want to go crazy high over the field on the Tigers. So I would probably go back, get rid of some of my Tigers stacks and try to get down below, probably below 50% exposure to every Tigers bat would be kind of my goal in going back and discarding some lineups, going to find some lineups that don't have the Tigers in them. So I think that would be my approach on DraftKings, on FanDuel. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to do all stack types again, all lineups, not going to lock anybody. All right, so we get Shane McClanahan as the pitcher in this one, and then we have a 4-2-2 Brewers, Twins, and Rockies stack. Some kind of very low-owned uh, bats here with Royce Lewis at 2%. We got Jesse Winker at 2%, Ezekiel Tovar at 4%, already to Les 9%. So this is a not extremely, yeah, this is a way far on the contrarian end of the spectrum, but as you see, still projects in like the top 10 percentile. So looks good overall. Uh, I like I like that lineup quite a bit. And then we got Shane McClan at just 8% ownership, just 69% total ownership on this lineup. That is nice. And using the full salary cap too, like this lineup quite a bit. Uh, looking in the top pitches tool on FanDuel, where is McClanahan? Top of the board, 7% <coughs> chance of being the top pitcher. And then we've got uh, in the top pitcher, sorry, the top stacks tool on FanDuel. We had the twins in there. I think we just had a twins two men. So we really what we care about more in the top stacks who would be the uh, the Brewers here because we've got four of them. And we have the Brewers with a 4% chance of being the top stack at 6% total ownership. So a little bit uh, over, over-owned the Brewers on this slate. But again, you balance out some of those chalky Brewers bats with the really low-owned Jesse Winker. And then we've got some other parts of this lineup uh, in Royce Lewis, Ezekiel Tovar, that are very, very low on. So nicely balanced lineup here, not high ownership there. All right, I'm going to save this one. And the next one we have a, is this a 4-3 Detroit? No, 4-2-2 Detroit, Chicago, San Francisco stack here. Uh, so Detroit coming in, you're going to get a lot of Detroit looks like on both sites. They are just too cheap for being in Coors Field. This one up to 97% ownership. So the last one we just had 69% ownership. This one's all the way up at 97%. Still kind of middle of the board, closer to the contra contrarian end of the spectrum. Again, we balanced out that Detroit ownership with some lower owned bats here. Uh, and actually, Jake Rogers on Detroit has just 3% ownership. So again, looks like a good lineup overall. Pablo Lopez as the pitcher here. Second in terms of top pitcher odds on FanDuel. Again, Detroit top of the board. And actually, we do have some positive leverage on Detroit here. Um, and then we had the White Sox and the Giants. Yeah, Giants top half, White Sox top half as well. So it looks like a good stack overall. All right, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to go, go ahead and save 20 lineups, see what my end exposures look like. And you see the ownership jumping all over the board here. So that's good to see. Hopefully, we're going to get a wide range of lineups. Yeah, our highest exposed player is Mike Trout at 50%, Javi Baez 45%, Andy Ibanez 40%, Hunter Renfro 35%. I'd probably be okay with these exposures. Like that is that's a lot of Mike Trout obviously getting 50% in 20 lineups, but if I if I am just playing 20 lineups, I'm okay being fairly condensed on certain players, certain offenses in 20 lineups. It's uh more of a risk tolerance thing than anything because every lineup here as I've said is going to be a plus EV lineup. So it's just a matter of do you want to have you know, 50% of your lineups relying on Mike Trout. I think I'd be okay with that with Mike Trout in particular. This looks like fine ownership overall. We still have a lot of Detroit here, but we don't have like 80%, uh, like if we were doing chalky lineups. So I think I like the way these ones turned out. But again, if you have not yet tried out Lineup Generator, get it for 50% off using the tweet in my link or in the description of this video. It's going to be just $4.48 for your first week. I'd recommend running out, running the lineup generator closer to lock when we actually have all the lineups out, ownership is updated, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and good